Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 7 Milk Base Let's learn about Outcomes in a simple experiment expressed in words, symbols, tables, or graphs At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Expresses the outcomes in a simple experiment in words, symbols, tables, or graphs And explains the outcomes in an experiment Hello kids! Today, you will learn how to express and explain the outcomes in a simple experiment in words, symbols, tables, and graphs Suppose we are going to conduct an experiment by spinning the color roulette 24 times, then we tally the outcomes using the probability formula. Probability equals number of frequency or number of trials. What observations shall we get? The table below shows all the outcomes of this simple experiment. This means out of 20 spins. The spinner stops at purple 4 times, at red 2 times, at orange 2 times, at yellow 6 times, at green 3 times, and at blue 3 times. To express the probability of each color, we write probability purple equals 4 over 20 or 1 fifth. Probability yellow equals 6 over 20 or 310. Probability red equals 2 over 20 or 1 tenth. Probability green equals 3 over 20. Probability orange equals 2 over 20 or 1 tenth. And probability blue equals 3 over 20. What is experimental probability? Experimental probability is the actual result of an experiment, which may be different from theoretical probability. Sample space, the set or list of all possible outcomes. Example Theoretically, the sample space of spinning the color roulette is purple, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Letter B Theoretically, the sample space for rolling a die is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Letter C. Theoretically, the sample space for flipping two coins is head and head, head and tail, tail and head, or tail and tail. To explain the expression from our color roulette, since we spin it 20 times, we have... Probability purple equals 4 over 20 or 1 fifth. We say, there are 4 purples, 20 is the sample space. Probability yellow equals 6 over 20 or 3 tenth. We say, there are 6 yellows, 20 is the sample space. Outcomes in a simple experiment can also be presented in tables or graphs. Example 1. The outcomes in spinning the color roulette 20 times is expressed in table and in graph shown below. This is in tabular form and this is in graph form. In tabular form, the outcomes in spinning the color roulette, you can see the color in the first column and frequency in the second column. In graph form, the outcomes in spinning the color roulette is shown by bar graphs. What is theoretical probability? When someone is asked about the probability of landing on a red, you would probably answer that the chance is 1 6 or approximately 0 0.1667 or 17%. 
Imagine that you spin that roulette 24 times. How many times would you expect to land it on a red? You might say 17% of the time. So, you would expect it to land on a red 4 times. This is the theoretical probability. 4 over 20 or 1 6 or 0 0.1667 or 17%. Example 2. Maria tosses a coin 40 times. The following is the outcome of the experiment in tabular form and graph form. In tabular form, outcomes of tossed coins. You can see two columns in this tabular form. The outcomes on the first column and frequency on the second column. And in graph form, you will see the bar graphs of head and tail. When someone is asked about the probability of a coin landing on heads, you would probably answer that the chance is one half or 50%. Imagine that you toss the same coin 20 times. How many times would you expect it to land on heads? You might say 50% of the time or half of 20 times. So, its theoretical probability is 10 over 20 or 1 half or 50%. The theoretical probability is what you expect to happen, but it isn't always what actually happens, which is found by doing a simple experiment, thus called experimental probability. Example 3. Use the table below to determine the experimental probability of each number on a die. So in this tabular form, you will see the outcome and the frequency. Letter A, rolling a 2. Use the table. So rolling a 2. 20 divided by 100 equals 0 0.2 or 20%. Letter B, what is the theoretical probability of rolling a 5? So 1 divided by 6 equals... 0 0.1667 or 17%. Let us see, rolling a number less than 3, use the table. Rolling 1 or 2. 15 plus 20 equals 35. Divided by 100 equals 0 0.35 or 35%. And letter D, rolling a 3 or a 5, use the table. 3 or a 5. 10 plus 18 equals 28 divided by 100 equals 0.28 or 28%. An event that cannot possibly happen has a probability of 0 or impossible to happen. Likely to happen means that there's an equal chance that an event will happen or not. If there is a chance that an event will happen, then its probability is 1 and it's sure to happen. For examples, the dog can fly. This is impossible to happen. Tomorrow will rain. This is likely to happen. You are in grade 4. This is sure to happen. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Tell whether the following is sure to happen, likely to happen, or impossible to happen. Number 1 The sky is cloudy. The sun will not shine. What is the correct answer? Very good! This is likely to happen. Number 2 Taal Volcano is located where Mount Makiling is. What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is... Impossible to happen. Number 3. Mount Makiling can found in Laguna. What is the possible answer? Very good! The answer is... Sure to happen. Number 4. The sun will rise in the south. What is the correct answer? 
Very good. The answer is impossible to happen. And number five, the day after Monday will be Tuesday. What is the correct answer? Very good. The answer is sure to happen. Now let's move to learning task two. Read the situation and choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. Riku has a bag of marbles. He removed one marble, recorded the color, and placed it back in the bag. He repeated this process 20 times and recorded the result in the table. So this is the table. Colors selected are yellow, green, red, and orange. The frequency for yellow is 1, for green is 4, red 12, orange 3. Number 1. What is the experimental probability that a red marble will be selected from the bag? A. Probability red equals 1 fourth. B. Probability red equals 1 half. C. Probability red equals 12 over 20 or 3 fifth. Or letter D. Probability red equals 1. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is... Letter C. Probability red equals 12 over 20 or 3 fifth. Number 2. What is the theoretical probability that a yellow marble will be selected from the bag? A. Probability yellow equals 1 over 20. B. Probability yellow equals 1 fourth. C. Probability yellow equals 1 third. Or letter D. Probability yellow equals 3 fifth. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter A. Probability yellow equals 1 over 20. Number 3. Based on Riku's experiment, which color is most likely to be selected from the bag? A. Yellow B. Green C. Red or D. Orange what is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter C, red. Number 4. Based on Riku's experiment, which color is least likely to be selected from the bag? A, yellow, B, green, C, red, or D, orange? What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter A, yellow. And number 5, what is the experimental probability that a yellow or a red marble will be selected from the bag? A, probability yellow or red equals 10 over 20. B, probability yellow or red equals 12 over 4. C, probability yellow or red equals 13 over 20. Or D, probability yellow or red is 16 over 20. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter C, probability yellow or red equals 13 over 20. And now let's move to learning task 3. Read the situation and choose the letter of the correct answer. Then write it on your answer sheet. Carla used a standard deck of 52 cards and selected a card at random. She recorded the suit of the card she picked and then replaced the card. The results are in the table below. This is the table. On the first column, you will see the picture. Second column, the card suit which are diamonds, hearts, clubs, spades. And on the third column are the tally. Number 1. Based on her result, what is the experimental probability of getting a heart? A. Probability heart equals 1 fourth. B. Probability heart equals 9 over 52. C. Probability heart equals 1 fifth. Or letter D. Probability heart equals 3 over 52. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter B. Probability heart equals 9 over 52. Number 2. 
What is the experimental probability of getting a club? A. Probability club equals 1 over 52. B. Probability club equals 1 tenth. C. Probability club equals 3 over 52. Or D. Probability club equals 1 fourth. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Probability club equals 3 over 52. Number 3. What is the experimental probability of getting a diamond? A. Probability diamond equals 3 over 52. B. Probability diamond equals 18 over 52. C. Probability diamond equals 7 over 52. Or D. Probability diamond equals 1 fifth. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Probability diamond equals 7 over 52. Number 4. What is the experimental probability of getting a spade? A. Probability square equals 0. B. Probability square equals 1 half. C. Probability square equals 1 fourth. Or D. Probability square equals 1. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Probability square equals 1 fourth. And number 5, what is the theoretical probability of getting a heart? A. 1 divided by 52 equals 0 0.0192 or 1.92%. B. 26 divided by 52 equals 0 0.5 or 50%. C. 13 divided by 52 equals 0 0.25 or 25%. Or letter D. 39 divided by 52 equals 0 0.75 or 75%. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. 13 divided by 52 equals 0 0.25 or 25%. Remember, we can express the outcome in a simple experiment in words, symbols, tables, or graphs. There are two types of probability, the experimental probability and theoretical probability. Experimental probability is what actually happens when we try it out. Theoretical probability is what we expect to happen. The probability is still calculated the same way, using the number of possible ways an outcome can occur divided by the total number of outcomes. As more trials are conducted, the experimental probability generally gets closer to the theoretical probability. So kids, do you understand our lessons today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!